Hey guys, it's Young Wealth here. Now today we have to make a video about XLM. Now as you can see, the price point of XLM has actually dipped below 11 cents, which I don't care about. I'm holding this coin for the long term and I'm about to read you some PDF today that's actually going to open your eyes about how important this coin is going to be in the real world, okay? Now, shout out to Ahmed in the comment section for actually showing me this PDF and stuff like that. So we're going to get straight into it right now. The price is... It's pretty much boring, pretty much the same, pretty much stable. So we ain't going to talk about the price today. What we're going to talk about is actual is use case, okay? And it's actual position in the global financial markets, okay? Now, this is actually a PDF from the World Bank. Just bear that in mind, guys, the World Bank. Now, at the end of the day, it says central bank digital currencies for cross-border payments. Now, we're going to go straight to page 39, and we're going to break this down right now. You have to understand that when it comes to XLM, bro, I'm so excited because, like, the amount of deep, work they have put into this project it can't fail especially in the long term now we're going to get straight into this part right now stable coins for cross-border payments stable coin refer to a class of digital currencies that are relatively stable in terms of their price stable coins are for instance instantaneous processing of security and of payment as many cryptocurrencies do they also offer stability with respect to their party against fiat currencies Two digital currencies that fall into this category are RippleNet native digital currency, XRP, and Stellar Network native currency, XLM, okay? <laughs> Both Ripple and Stellar enable a fast, more efficient cross-border payments relative to correspondent banking. However, they differ in their form, former aims and improving cross-border payment settlements between international banks. Whereas the latter aims to provide low-cost cross-border cross -border payments, financial services to end users and unbanked population, okay? Now, that's all I really wanted to show you guys. Like, the fact that this is in a world bank, the fact that this is in a world bank is crazy. Like, I'll be real with you guys. The fact that this coin XLM is in the world bank it just shows me like we're gonna read it one more time right just so you understand it right stable coins refer to a class of digital currencies that are relatively stable in terms of their price stable coins offer instantaneous processing and security of payments as many cryptocurrencies do they also offer stability with respect to their parties against fiat currencies Two digital currencies that fall into this category are RippleNet native currency XRP and Stellar's network native cryptocurrency Stellar XLM, okay? At the end of the day, guys, like, when the World Bank is mentioning that this coin can be used as a refer to cross-border payments and stuff like that, do you realize, like, the cross-border payments, like, right now, cross-border payments is dealing with trillions of dollars a day or billions of dollars a day at least 10 billion dollars a day so if slm could get just a fraction of this okay if slm could get just a fraction of this market share it's gonna do wonders for the price point of the coin and for the people that are all disappointed with slm's growth guys a lot of you are young people and if you can't wait five years if like now bear in mind you will take profits in this bull run in 2025, obviously, right? But I'm telling you guys, if you buy back in lower and wait this five years out, like, you're going to not regret that, okay? You're going to actually be in a position where you realize, like, I'll put my money into a utility that's going to be used for trillions of dollars. Quadrillions of dollars in the future, maybe. At the end of the day, like, we're dealing with a coin that can be used, sad to say, for war to get money across to different countries as quick as possible. We know war is a very expensive thing. When it comes to fees and cross-border payments, like they're using banks right now, and that takes probably like 10, 15 days. If there's a war and they need to transfer money to a certain country, they can use XLM or XRP and do it in three to five seconds. So I want you guys to understand that for me. Like when you look at the all-time graph and it's only hit six, 70 cents, what does that mean? That means that coin is very undervalued. If you ask me, it means the coin is very, very undervalued. And to be honest with you guys, like, it's not going to be undervalued in this next five to ten years. It won't. It will not be undervalued in the next five to ten years. Why? Because by then, CBDCs will be out in full effect, and it will actually mean that XRP and XLM they'll be used in full effect also. So, with that being said, guys, I just have to make this quick, insightful video to tell you guys that a lot of you holding this coin right now. You're disappointed with the price action. But sometimes it's not about the price action. Sometimes it's about the technology and the, and the information and the actual work going into the coin. Because as I said, when regulation comes out, 99% of coins are going to be wiped out. 99% of coins are not going to be here. So what does this mean? It means more market share for the coins that will be here. And one coin that will definitely be here 
after regulation is going to be XLM. So I want you guys to bear that in mind. That's the reason I hold this. I'm not holding it to make the majority of my profits. I'm, I'm holding more coins that are smaller than this to make more profits. But when it comes to my long-term safety net, my long-term safety bag that's going to have a stable amount of profits over the long term, it's pretty much like me holding the stock like early though. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's actually Young Wealth. Smash the like button, hit the sub button. If you want to learn about different coins and different gems that can make you more money, join the page for a link in the description. It's a cheap fee. And once you get there, you're going to make that profit back anyway. So if you want to be part of the gang, part of the Discord chat, support me, support the channel, support yourself by learning about this knowledge. So with that being said, it was actually Young Wealth, and I'm signing out with another video. Peace.